So, I'll be showing you how you can dust for your fingerprints at home using things that you can just find around your home. First, we need something to pick our fingerprints off. So today I'm going to be using a glass, but you can also use things like a mirror or a tile, some kind of reflective surface will do. You'll need a brush to dust for your fingerprints. This is just a makeup brush. So if anyone around your house using makeup, maybe they'll be able to borrow you one or like a paintbrush or something similar will do. Something that's kind of nice and fluffy. Then you'll need some kind of powder to dust for your fingerprints. I'm just using makeup setting powder because that's what I have. So if you have that at home, that might also work. Or it also works with flour or cocoa powder and also drinking hot chocolate too. And also some fur tape if you wish to pick up your fingerprints. So firstly, what you're going to need to do, you need to make sure that your glass is nice and clean. So get rid of any dirt or debris that was there before. And you're going to need to pop your fingerprints onto the glass. For this, you need your fingerprints to be quite sweaty. So if your hands are quite dry or your fingers aren't really that sweaty, what you need to do is either rub them behind the backs of your ears, on your forehead or the back of your neck. Because this is places in your body which your body naturally produces oil and that is perfect for what we need it for. Because fingerprints are made through sweat deposits that are left behind when you touch a surface. So once you've got your fingers nice and oily, touch the glass or whatever surface wherever you'd like. If I do this just right here. I can see that I have left nice greasy deposits here. So now what you're going to need to do is basically dust for your fingerprints. What I'd suggest if you are using products such as setting powder or flour or cocoa powder, pour that into another tub so you don't contaminate something that you're going to be putting in your body or on your face. So simply take the brush and dip it in the powder so there's loads of powder on the brush. This is where you need to be a bit careful with how hard you're applying the powder because if you're too heavy handed you'll actually wipe away the sweat deposits and then the prints and you will be left with nothing same as if you was at a crime scene so dust your brush into the powder and then gently sweep across the wherever you place the fingerprints and as you can see here you can see that i have left four fingerprints on the front of the glass just here so now you can either leave it like this if you want to and you can add more on it or you can do other members of your family or whoever you will live with also. You can also lift the fingerprints if you'd like, like how they would at a crime scene. Today you can use sellotape but at a crime scene they did use fingerprint lifting sheets. So just simply take a piece of sellotape and apply this over the fingerprint that you'd wish to pick up. With this, you just need to carefully place it over and press down, but don't press down too hard. So the, the tape will be sticking to all the powder that's just left behind, which has adhered to the sweat. And then you need to gently pull that back. And you can see that essentially one of the four fingerprints has now disappeared. And then you can see that you've lifted the fingerprint right here. And if you place that on a dark coloured surface, you'll be able to see the fingerprints. So, it's as easy as that. So now you can have a go at home, dusting for your own fingerprints or somebody else's fingerprints. And then you can look at the two and see if you notice any similarities or differences.